Hey, this is Skyfish6, and today I'm going to be doing a video of my Nintendo DS collection. First off, this came, I got my DS, like, right about when it came out, so it came with the Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt demo. I, it's pretty fun. I, I, there's one, it's got all the stuff still, the booklet and everything, but I'm missing the little plastic envelope the game card came in. Um, I never did get the full game. I might one day, but I haven't even gotten any of the other Metroid Primes. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. First Castlevania I ever played. It got me interested in the series, and now I'm, I'm a huge fan. I own at least half the series. <sighs> Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Good game, just not as good as um, Dawn of Sorrow, in my opinion. Although the co-op mode is pretty fun, the co-op boss rush. Oh. Castlevania Order of uh, Ecclesia, Ecclesia, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Ecclesia. It's probably not right, but I don't care. Mine came in upside down. I could change it, but I just I thought it was funny that uh, that's how it came to me when I pre-ordered it. <clears throat> Drawn to Life, decent game. It gets kind of difficult at spots, but it's it's good for what it's worth. Final Fantasy 3. I really didn't enjoy this a whole lot. I thought it could have been better. <clears throat> Final Fantasy 4. Uh, much better than um, Final Fantasy 3 on the DS. I'm a huge Final Fantasy 4 fan. I have this and the Game Boy Advance version. They're both very good, but this one is just... It's, it's great. Kirby Squeak Squad. A nice Kirby game, just really easy. I beat this the day after I got it. It's it's not even like it's not even short, it's just easy. Kirby Superstar Ultra. I was really excited for this. I got this the day picked this up the day it came out. Um, really fun game. It's a remake of Kirby Superstar on the Super NES. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Decent. Like, it's fun the first time you play it through, but then it gets kind of monotonous, saving up, like, getting all the pegs to unlock bonus characters. That, that gets really monotonous. <clears throat> Mario Kart DS. Probably one of my favorite Mario Karts, aside from the Wii one and Double Dash. Really fun. It was one of the first games to use the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, the sequel to Superstar Saga on the GBA. Really fun. Difficult and a bit on the short side, but fun. I, I still haven't gotten Bowser's Inside Story. I'd like to, though. New Super Mario Brothers. I really love this game. It's, uh, you know, really, for the most part, it's nothing really that special, but it's just a good game, in my opinion. It's, it's just a great Mario game. Pokemon Diamond version. I was actually pretty disappointed by this. I still haven't finished it. I actually haven't played much of this at all. Just for what I, I it's 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 a really well put together game. I just don't care for it. I, I'm not. I don't know why. I just don't. Pokemon Soul Silver version, much better. This is probably actually my favorite Pokemon game there is. I actually did it on, like the day I got it, which was the day it came out. I did like an unboxing of this on my other channel which is now being used for completely different purposes. Um, 
Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which does not have its own case. That it's just a it's just a flipped inside out bionicle like free reserve case or something like that. It's a good game though, a really good game. Being able to play the original Resident Evil wherever you go. Sonic Rush, pretty decent Sonic game. It's a, it's it's a lot like Sonic Advance 2, except I don't know. There were some differences. It was it was a difficult game. Sonic Rush Adventure, pretty good, but I didn't like it as much as Sonic Rush, just because I don't know. It, it wasn't as good, and it was it was easier, but it was it seemed too easy, at least for a Sonic game. Super Mario 64 DS. The first full DS game I ever got. This is fun. Loads of fun to play. I've never played the N64 version, though. I'd, I'd like to one day. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Mutant Nightmare. It's it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some touchscreen puzzles thrown in. It's a decent game. It, it's difficult, but it's decent beat-em-up for the DS. Nothing like the GameCube version. And WarioWare Touched. Pretty good WarioWare game. Uh, I like all the WarioWare games. I, I still haven't gotten Smooth Moves for the Wii or uh, DIY for the DS, but uh, this is pretty nice. Well, that's it for my DS collection. Until next time, this is Skyfish 6.